all right guys this so this one is a very short video to show you guys that these cams does it make the 2JZ an interference engine or not okay so we first we need to understand what is interference engine right the interference engine meaning if the piston is going at the top the top dead center the valve come down fully will it hit or not if it hits that means it is interference engine okay so what uh, what concerns you should have if you have an interference engine is when something is wrong uh, with your timing belt or your you know your, your timing settings or your timing belt breaks so the valves may accidentally hit your piston and it may cause catastrophic failure which means like for example you know uh, bent valves or you know your piston has a uh, uh, a lot of uh, cracks onto it and uh, causing a lot of uh, you know all, all debris flying all over and making your head and your block unusable all right so let's see let's debunk it this is this uh 272 intake and a 278 camshaft exhaust uh see whether this one will cause the 2jz becomes an interference or not It's two JZ, an interference engine. Okay, from the box it is not an interference engine, but we are going to test it up. Okay, okay. There are multiple reasons of why an interference engine, why you need to be careful of interference engine. Okay, so for example, like your timing belt has break, or your cam uh, breaks into half. Okay, so the piston is coming up, but the valve is still at the bottom, so it might hit or for example valve float that means your cam profile is very very aggressive your valve is at the bottom but the but the cam has already going up but your valve spring cannot catch up it's not fast enough to push the valve up therefore your piston may hit it okay catch up with the valve and you got catastrophic Okay, just a little background of this engine. This one is using the stock crank, stock piston, stock corn rod, and then I'm using the GTE head gasket. But this cam is 264 cams. Okay, this one is uh, the adjustable cam gears, which I have already adjusted according to the HKS cam card. Okay. So what I have now here is a 264 HKS cam. Okay, so this one is at the top dead center. So I'm going to turn this two, turn the intake cam, see whether it will hit or not. Okay, here is the marking, so I'm going to turn it. No, not too fast. Oh. Okay, as you can see that it is not an interference for now okay for now okay so if you are going for high rpm you need to modify things like valve spring in order for your valves to come up fast enough so that your piston will not be able to catch up with your valves and break or bend the valves all right especially if you have a very aggressive cam time uh cam lift or duration Mostly it's cam lift. Okay, so 264, then it's not interference. Uh, I'm going to try two more 272 and 278. And now it's the exhaust pipe. Nope, it is not interference. Okay, so I have my belt removed. Okay, I'm going to install it back later. 
I got my uh, 17 for my exhaust and then I got this one this one is a H14 it's for the intake you can, as you can see this one is a BBTI so I'm going to make full trans so let's see whether it will uh, it will hit the piston or not and then this one is a size 22 this one is for the crankshaft bolt so this one you, as you can see this one is pointing to the top that means the piston number one is at the top dead center so what I do is I'm going to turn all the intake and the exhaust and then I'm going to see whether it will hit or not alright so let's go yep 272 pass okay so now the next question is does this 278 exhaust cam will it cause the engine become interference or not right so let's proceed with care mm, so far so good okay let's turn two rounds okay just to make it efficient oh oh it is stuck Okay, let maybe I, I reverse back. <coughs> so this one becomes an interference engine. Okay, the other side is also stuck. Alright, so that means the number one and number six. I believe number one and number six. So it is uh, stuck. So that means it is interference engine already. Oh, so it becomes open. Let's go the other direction. Okay. Not too hard, not too hard. Okay, it's stuck. It's really stuck. Okay. So it becomes an interference engine once you add, add it on the cams. Alright, so we have to be very careful. And that's why I get a super reliable original HKS timing belt. So hopefully this one will treat me good. <laughs> yep. So that's that's all for this video. So I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys uh, finally, you know, uh, can answer all this question whether the two JZ is an interference engine or not. Originally it is not interference engine, but after adding cams, yes, it is an interference engine already. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and post down your questions in the comment section below and share with your friends if you guys think that this video will benefit them as well. Right? Alright, so see you guys next video.